Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? Oh, that's how I start my vlog. It is currently about 625 and I'm getting ready to go upstairs and take a shower and get ready because tonight is my recovery home group meeting. So I'm going to go pick up my good Judy and then we're going to go to that and hang out with our friends. I'm very excited about it. It's like one of my favorite nights of the week and I just have so much fun. So I'm sitting out on the porch and I'm drinking the drink that I reviewed for my review channel today, which is, this is called the, uh, the WandaVision drink. It's actually really good. So just sitting out here relaxing. Alex just got home, fed the dogs. Hello? <laughs> the dogs are barking and going crazy. And um, so I was just sitting out here and I thought, I want to tell you guys the story of Birdie and Gertie. <laughs> and I didn't include the video footage yesterday, so I'm going to include the video footage today because I'm very proud of my short film that I produced. <laughs> so anyway, let me tell you the story, okay? It was two summers ago, I believe it was, yes, it was two summers ago, and um, I noticed, you see up there we have a carriage light, and on top of the carriage light, a bird started building a nest. And Alex was like, if we have a nest up there, we're not going to be able to go out because it's going to get scared of us and everything like that, right? So um, we didn't really think much about it, and then over the next, like, a bird can build a nest that quick. I can't snap that quick. Are you guys aware of that? Like it takes them no time to build a nest. So I named her <laughs> Mrs. Birdie. I used to talk about her all the time. And in fact, when the last um, little bird from the nest, who I named Steve, left the nest, I was very sad. <laughs> like I vlogged that night and talked about how emotional it was for me that Mrs. Birdie had, you know, left and taken her babies with her. There was this whole storyline about it. And, th and the reason why I called her Mrs. Birdie is because my dad used to have, so my dad lives on a lake and he has a pool and he used to have a duck that would come and visit him every summer. I'm sure it wasn't the same duck, right? And he named her Mrs. Ducky. And um, my dad, if I get my love of animals from anybody, it's definitely my dad. One year we went to St. Martin and my dad developed like all these rolls of film and my stepmom and I thought it was going to be all pictures of us and it was literally like five rolls of like lizards on the beach. <laughs> my dad loves taking pictures of animals. He's always had animals. Um, my grandma used to tell stories about he and his best friend, they like the, like the, uh, like the shack that they had behind their house that my dad and his best friend would like take uh, stray dogs and they would like make beds for them and feed them. And like one time she walked in there and there were like all of these dogs that they were like rehoming and things like that. And I really believe if my dad hadn't been a surgeon, he probably would have ended up being like a veterinarian because he just loves animals so much. Like, lo like he is happiest when he is just with his dog and um, sitting on the back porch looking at birds and squirrels. And he's always named them. Ever since I was a little kid, he's always named them like Mr. Squirrely and stuff like that. So he had Mrs. Ducky. And at one point, my dad had gotten a baby crib, and he's very MacGyverish in how he, he, my dad has designed things and patented things and whatever. He's very, like, inventor type. And so he had taken this baby crib and designed this, like, ladder and then this slide so that she could slide down into the pool and then climb back up into it and that it was covered and it had the nest in it, right, for her babies. Um, Mrs. Ducky would swim with us in the pool. Like, we could get in the pool, and she would swim around with us and stuff. It was so sweet. So, flash forward many years, and we get this bird's nest on top of our carriage light. You can see we now have a rock on top of there so that birds can't build a nest over there. And part of the problem was is that every time we came out of the door, we scared her because um, we would open the door to come out, and she would fly away. So, that scared her. Well, we put a rock up there. I would have been fine with Mrs. Birdie coming back every year. But Alex was like, okay, we have bird poop literally down our entire front walk. Um, they were very loud. And I loved the whole thing. And, and Alex did too. He thought the whole thing was very sweet. But he was like, we can't go. I mean, and I thought it would be like a week. And it was literally like a month of not being able to go in and out of the door. It was really hard. And we were very careful with her because we didn't want her to leave her babies and stuff like that. So the other day I was sitting out here and um, I had come out and I have this fern up there, see? And I was getting ready to water the plants. And when I came out here, 
a bird flew out of the fern. And I was like, do we have, is Mrs. Birdie back? <laughs> so I took down the basket. Hold on a second. The basket. What's the basket? The basket. <laughs> the thing puts the lotion in the basket. <laughs> The camera is out of focus. I hate when it does this. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can focus it. Come on. You can tell my, my high editing skills here. Come on. <laughs> if you watch my vlog late at night, you know that this is typical of me. Okay, hold on a second. I'm just going to stop. This is like old school YouTube. You don't get a whole lot of editing or anything over here. But anyway, I was looking up there and I was like, oh, do we have a is she building a nest in there? So she had flown out. So I took the, uh, the fern down and I looked. And she had started making a nest. And I was like, oh no. And I didn't know what to do. And so I called Tanya and I said, how am I going to like water my fern around it? And she was like, well, you can't. She was like, you're going to have to just let it, you know, have a nest up there. So we have decided to allow Mrs. Birdie's sister, who is Gertie, <laughs> Gertie Birdie, Gertie Birdie to have her babies up there. Now, I will tell you, I just looked up there. You can hardly see her. You can just, you can't, I, I'm not going to take the, um, the fern down because I don't want to disrupt her or as soon as I come out here, she usually flies away, but she's up there right now. I can tell because I could see her moving around when I came out here initially. So I don't know if I can get up there close enough. I don't want to stand in my chair because I'll break it probably to show you, but like, there's like a perfect nest. Like, let me show you with this fern. There is a perfect nest, like, right here. It just, it's, like, squished down, and then it's perfect. And I don't know if you can see. I don't want to scare her. But let me see if I can. Can anybody see her? I can't see the camera, so I don't know what you guys can see right now. So, that's. Now, I don't, I'm not going to know until I look back at the footage what you guys just saw. But she has been so sweet. And I have to tell you, I came out here early this morning when Alex left because I moved my car and then I sat out here for a second. And she and her husband, um, one of them flew out. And then all of a sudden they were like up there on the top of the house. And they were just sitting there and they were like chirping. And I was like, oh my God, this is so sweet. So we're not going to disturb the fern. We're just going to let her have her babies up there. I'm very excited about it. And um, so anyway... Mrs. Birdie, this is her sister, okay? This, they're very close. Her name is Mrs. Gertie. Now, if you want to know what happened to Mrs. Birdie, Mrs. Birdie had a baby, okay? And Mrs. Birdie's baby's name was Steve. And Steve was like the runt of the litter, right? He had these sisters, and then he had it was Steve. Now, the reason why Boo Radley became so friendly with Steve was because Boo Radley was also the runt of the litter as well. So he and Steve became best friends. And then he started looking over at Steve. Now, looking over Steve. Now, I have to tell you, Boo Radley was very, there's a cardinal right out in my front yard. And I think that these are cardinal um, birds, actually. This cardinal is so pretty. I would walk out there and show you, but it will probably move as soon as I do. Anyway, um, Boo Radley was very upset when <laughs> Mrs. Birdie and Steve left. So let me show you this video. Here you go. Where's your baby brother, Steve? I told you, don't even worry about it. I'm my own person. Well, where is he? We're traveling around the world. Don't even worry about it. I'm taking him out of this hellhole. Quit following me around with that camera. I don't like the paparazzi. You know I'm a famous person. Boo Radley, I'm just trying to, hey, I'm having a spa day here. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my baby brother Steve on. We're gonna have a spa day. Boo Radley. Oh my Lord, look at all the babies. They're so hungry. <gasps> There's Steve in the background. He wants some worms. There's Lois. Hey, Lois. There's Louie. And there's Linda. She seems like she's asleep right now. Hey, Linda. How are you doing, gal? Steve said, where's Boo Radley? I'm ready to play. Lois said, who is this person up here right now? Why are you bothering us? I want to see my baby brother Steve. Where is he? Where is he? I want to see Steve. I want to see my baby brother Steve. Where's your baby brother Steve? I told you, don't even worry about it. Why are you following me around with that camera? I don't like the paparazzi. Boo Radley, where is he? I'm about to rescue him out of this hellhole. Don't even worry about it. We're, we're our own people. I'm, we're going to go to Hawaii and eat pineapples. We're going to snorkel. You are. We're going to go to, we're going to Texas and we're going to do the boot scooting boogie and get in the rodeo. You are? Boo Radley, 
He's my baby brother. He's my baby brother, not yours. Leave me alone. So that's a little video that I put together for uh, Alex and I and our friends about Boo Radley and Steve, his bird friend, and the little birds. Did you see all the little birds? Weren't they so cute? So anyway, I'm, I have to be honest with you. I'm very excited that Birdie Gertie, a Gertie Birdie is back. I'm very excited um, that it just makes me happy that all these animals, like, I have all these animals that feel so comfortable just to, like, live near us. I told Alex last night, I was telling him about the nest, and he was like, oh, he was like, that's cool. And I said, um, I said, I think that animals know that we are a safe home, that we're a, we're a friend to all animals over here. So, anyway, I just wanted to share that story with you guys. I'm gonna go get ready now, but, um, just stay tuned, because trust there will be more about the story of Gertie and her babies to come this summer trust <laughs> anyway I love you guys I hope you're having a magical evening bye